This video is about specking an LED. So let's say you have an LED and you took it out of something or it didn't come with a data sheet. So you don't know what the forward voltage is and you don't know what the forward current is. So you need to find out what those would be. So with LEDs, the color or the elements used to produce that color are what determine the voltage drop. So with red, I measured 1.8. With yellow, it was 2.0. Green was 2.1, blue was 2.8, and white was 3.2. Now that can vary from one LED to another depending on the frequency of light in the nanometer range of wavelength. So here's a chart on Wikipedia. So you just type in forward voltage drop, LED, color, and you should be able to find this quite easily. And you can see each LED has its own range of voltage there. Here's the test circuit I'm going to be using. So here's a variable DC power supply, a fixed resistor, which is 620 ohms of resistance, a current meter, and a voltage meter, and then the LED. So I'll set that up, and we can spec this white LED here. Okay, so here's the white LED. Its voltage is 3.2 volts, and the current at that voltage is 6.7 milliamps. Now... <coughs> Now if that light level is a little too low, you can increase the voltage across the LED to a light level you prefer. So now it's at 3.4 volts and the current is at 12.8 milliamps. Now the trade-off with the brighter light emission is the LED will burn out faster. So the lower you can set the voltage across the LED, the lower the current through the LED, the longer the LED will last.